Hey guys, I'm so excited for today's video. I have another CGC return to do. The shipment just got delivered about an hour ago, so I've not opened it at all. We're gonna be seeing everything together for the first time in front of these cameras. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, here we go. I got 46 cards in this gigantic box. Oh my god, all right. First, gonna grab the invoice. Do not need to see that. Ooh. All right. So this is what it looks like. Look at all that plastic. <laughs> plastic goodness, oh my God. All right. Just gonna take it um, away from front of the camera so you guys aren't seeing a bunch of brown. Um, all right, I'm gonna go in the order that I. I'm gonna try to go in the order I submitted. I think I see where the, where it starts. So. All right. If I did this correctly, this should be the Brilliant Stars Charizard Alt Art. I'm not gonna try to re uh, hide the reveal of the grade. I'm just gonna flip them. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, you know what? It's, I expected that. I, it was uh, bottom. The bottom's heavy on there. It's not. It's not centered that well. But you know what? It's for my own personal collection. I'm not. I wasn't trying to get a ten to sell or anything like that. So, I am very happy. That is my baby right there. All right. Next up should be another, either Charizard or the Eevee. All right. One, two, three. Boom. Okay. I expected that. It um, has some wear and tear on it, but seven is not bad for something from 2003. Eevee from Aquapolis, Reverse Hollow. Alright. Um, Japanese card. Alright, please be a ten. Oh no! No! Ah. Man, that sucks. I was really hoping for a 10 on this one. Yeah, it's not completely centered correctly, but... Ah, damn. I know CGC is hard, but it just sucks when it's, it's a 9.5. It's like, come on, make it a 10. Let's go. All right, next one. Oh no. <clears throat> okay. 6.5 for the secret rare Charizard from Stormfront. That's another one for me. My two babies. Set them up here. Alright, next one. <laughs> A secret rare Pikachu from Crown Zenith 9. Oh man, I thought this one would, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, the top is a little bit skinny. Hmm, that's alright. Nine, you know what, nines I'll take. For CGC, nines I'll take. Alright, got another Japanese card. Is this the Mewtwo, I think? Nine five. Wow. Come on, I was expecting a 10 on this one. Any Japanese, like, I'm going in expecting a 10. Come on. Still a cool card, though. Alright, got another Japanese card. What? How the heck does this have a 7-5? This? No. Alright, I have three of these. Okay, explain to me how this is possible 
They all came from the same person, like the same seller. They are all, they were all individually sleeved in their own plastics. Like that's how they sold them. They were all sleeved already. So I did not take them out of their original sleeves until I went to submit these. So how? They all look exactly the same. I don't see a single difference. That makes sense. If, if you guys caught some, if you guys saw something while wa you're watching this that I somehow am not, I'm not seeing, that you can t uh, see why one got a 7.5 and one got a 10 because they're literally from this, they're, they're the same thing. That is, I don't get that. I don't get that one at all. That is weird. I don't know about that. That's fishy to me. How, how do you get Japanese modern at something less than an 8? That's weird. Alright, next one. War Turtle from Base Set 2. It's got the little stamp right there. So that's, that's not bad for a car from 2007-5. Not bad. Alright, next one. Alright, another one from 2000. Got the Mewtwo. Black Star promo from the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. Not a fan of the art, but it is different. It's unique, so that's why I wanted to get it graded. Alright, next one. Alright, Charizard VMAX. So the next ones are going to be from the Charizard UPC. And of course, if you've opened it or seen those cards, you know that they are horribly off-centered. So I'm amazed that I got one of these at a nine. Add it to my Charizard collection. Okay, so next one should be either the V-Star or the Sleeping. Ah, uh, eight five, no. And this one's my favorite one too. Sleepy Charizard. And then this should be the V-Star then. Ooh. I'm happy with the nine. Like I said, these were horribly off-centered. Look at that. Look at the nice little row of Charizards. Oh, I love it. Love to see it with that 6-5 smack dab right in the middle. <laughs> Alright, next one. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I was hoping this would get a 10. It's all right. Corviknight V from Silver Tempest 9-5. All right, got a Japanese. Uh, this is old school Japanese, so this is going to be something from like 1999, 1998, 1997. Dark Hypno a 9. Oh, wow, that's nice. I was not expecting it to get a 9. This is from the Rocket Gang. Awesome. Alright, next up we have another Japanese. Alright, got Brock's Nine Tails from 1998. Very cool. 9, not bad, not bad. Alright, another Japanese. Rocket's Moltres from 1998. 9. Awesome. So is that what? Three nines in a row for Japanese vintage? It's crazy. All right, next one. Oh, eight five for Sabrina's Alakazam from 1999. That one's so cool. All right. All right, got one more Japanese. Maybe one, two more. Erica's Club Fable, a nine from 1998. I'll take that. Another Japanese one. Ah, Dark Slow Bro from 1997. Rocket Gang, 8.5. Take it. Misty's Gold Duck, 1998. A 9. I will take it. Alright, so. I got 26, uh, 23 more cards to go. 
I'm gonna stop the video. This, so this is gonna be part one, okay? So make sure you stick around because I will be posting part two tomorrow with the next batch. The next batch is going to be Japanese um, and the anime collection from uh, the Cardass and then also I have Topps Chrome. So stick around, check back and see what grades those got. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.